Now the coup, coup de gras here. This is this is where it really gets completely insane. Fox News to try to even further push back against what is clearly uh, a news that continues to vindicate the Obama administration when it comes to Benghazi. Uh, now Fox News decided this is what they did. What do you want to do when you need to distract from obvious good news for those who don't believe conspiracies? You bring on four women in short dresses and a football player. I, I'm not making this up. This is literally what Fox News did. They had four women in short dresses talk to former NFL football player Terry Bradshaw about his views on Benghazi. <laughs> I mean, Lewis, you can't make this stuff up. Terry Bradshaw comes on and the women in the short dresses ask him questions. And here is what Terry Bradshaw had to say. Uh, former NFL football player Terry Bradshaw commenting on Hillary Clinton and Benghazi. Let's listen. Whoa. Terry, you, the best thing to do. do you Hillary. trust her? Uh, simple do question. Her? Do you trust Hillary Clinton? <clears throat> um, not really. Don't particularly like her. Um, never have. Um, I find that it, the best thing to do here, because uh, she's on a book. So the only reason she's on Fox is because she's pro promoting a book. Mm -hmm. I, I, I always say this, Harris, if you tell the truth, you don't have to worry about covering up with some other story. Mm -hmm. The truth sets you free. Just tell the truth and now you can hang it. You'll never forget it. And it becomes your foundation. But if you, you know, if you're running for, uh, if she's going to decide to run for president, she's going to have to answer to the Benghazi deal. Yeah. When, when, that, when, when the lady came out and said that uh, it triggered all of this, what was it? Uh, the music, what was it? The, the Muslim video. Right, yeah. the video. The coolest, the coolest. Did anybody the buy that? Yeah, yeah. Did anybody about truly with us? When she said that on the Sunday morning. I sat there and just went, someone told her to go out there and say this yeah. Yeah. and, and they did. stay with it. And they got, was it the and president? Desperation. Just desperation at Fox News. Years of no evidence of any conspiracy. They catch one of the alleged ringleaders. It seems that the ring leader has stated that it was in part that anti-Muslim video that was at least partially responsible for the flare up of violence. Every single aspect of the right wing conspiracy falls apart. So they bring on the four women with the short dresses and Terry Bradshaw. This is indistinguishable from a Saturday Night Live parody of Fox News. You know what? I wouldn't even call it desperation. I would call it business as usual. This type of uh, sensationalism is what keeps people tuned into Fox News. It's what they want to see. It's what they want to hear. And um, if you think it's ridiculous, you're right. But many Americans don't. Tonight, Fox News has figured out that the guy responsible for washing Team USA's World Cup jerseys, he's a right winger. He's going to be on to provide analysis, Lewis, on the latest developments in the IRS scandal. Right. I mean, it's, that's exactly that's 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 what they're doing. And it's disgusting. And as unfortunately, as Lewis says, it is kind of business as usual. It's just so much more obvious when it's around a, a conspiracy theory that every aspect of has fallen apart.